Hi everybody, today we're going to be looking at FSUAE again and we're going to be looking at a hard drive setup. I'm going to be answering a question that was in one of my previous videos and that is how can I use FSUAE to set up an, a real Amiga? So using a compact flash card, setting that up in FSUAE and then actually physically taking that and putting that into a real Amiga. Follow me along and I'll show you how to do it. Similar to before, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a Amiga now. Uh, the Amiga that I'm going to be putting this card into is an Amiga 1200, so I choose an Amiga 1200. 3.1 ROMs is what I've got in the Amiga, so we just make sure that's selected. And what we're going to do first off is uh, we'll go to the floppy disks and we're going to go to the media swap list. We've looked at this in a previous video, but um, basically. We're going to select all of the floppy disks for the Amiga Workbench install. So I'm just going to highlight all of those, click open and make sure that they're just appearing in this list in the media swap list. You don't need to put them up at the top here. Don't worry about that for the moment, just as long as they're in all of the disks are in that list. So next bit we're going to do, we're going to go to the hard drives uh, tab up here and we need to add a hard drive file well we haven't created one yet so how do we do that so we go to the fsuae icon at the top and we go to the hdf creator now this is all looking very similar to the last video that we did and in the last video we used the single partition hard drive file um, now we're going to be moving it over to the rdb or rigid disk block i recommend that you make it up to this size so 4096 so if you've got a 8 gigabytes card or a 16 gigabyte card you can use those but just for convenience we're only going to use 4 gigs of the space reason why i'm doing that is because i'm just installing workbench 3.1 and by default it only accepts 4 gig cards in later versions of Workbench, like Workbench uh, 3.14 or 3.2, and eventually I will get Workbench 3.2, but at the moment I've only got the old 3.1. So um, we're going to make a hard drive that's 4096. And then I'm going to call it um, Example. Okay, and it's Example HDF. Okay, so our, and that's going to go into the hard drives folder under our FSUAE folder. So I'm going to click on create. We'll give it some time. There we go. Disk image created. So don't click on create again because it's made. Uh, just close that dialog. And then what we need to do is go to hard drives and then go to the browse for file. And there you can see we've got our example. It's a massive four gigabyte file called example. So we've got to click on open on there. So we've got that selected. And then for convenience, I'm just gonna add a couple of things. You don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna go into the additional, go change the floppy speed drive to turbo. And I think we're then ready to start this up. So we've got our Amiga booted up, but we've got no disks in the drive at the moment. So if I hit F12, DFO is empty at the moment. I'm going to put in the first disk, which is the install disk. Wait for that to load up, which hopefully shouldn't take too long. Okay, and that's loaded up. And as you can see, at the moment, uh, we've got no hard drive showing up at the moment. We've only got the install floppy disk running so first thing we need to do is partition the hard drive so it is there but at the moment it's not got a partition it's not split up at the moment so um, this is what you'd do on an Unreal Amiga so uh, we we'll go to the install disk go to HD tools and then 
will go to HD Toolbox. Now I'm going to make a mistake and the reason being I want to show you what would happen and to how to fix it. Now if we run up HD Toolbox you'll see that there's no hard drives present and you'll think oh no something's gone wrong I haven't added my hard drive correctly. You have but this tool by default doesn't open up the way you need it to be. So if you just click on exit under HD toolbox selected so make sure that is selected go to icon go to information then we're looking for this area that says SCSI device name equals SCSI dot device we need to edit this so we need to change this to U A E H F dot device okay click on save then run up the tool again and then by magic there's your hard drive excellent okay so next step change the drive type right and we click on define new and then generally I just add the word RAM and then semicolon afterwards because it's just going to put this file definition into RAM we don't need to keep this and then we click on reconfiguration yep continue and then there we go it's, it's detected the cylinders the heads the blocks and everything and that all should be good now I've kept it under 4 gig so this minus 9 is OK um, and then click on OK and then OK again we've defined our hard drive next step is to partition it so if I go to partition drive so I'm going to create um, a 500 megabyte or as close to as possible 500 meg DF0 that's going to be my workbench and that's bootable and then the other partition that I've got is going to have like loads of games and stuff on it and that's three three thousand five hundred and seventy six so that's the rest of the drive uh, made up so I'll just bring it back a little bit so you've got a little bit of space at the end there as well and we're going to call that DH1 that isn't a bootable drive and then click on OK so we've got two partitions we've got that partition and then we've got this partition click on OK and then importantly click on save changes to drive there we go that's grayed out now click on exit and then what we're going to do is we're going to reboot the Amiga so I'm just doing control windows and windows there we go and we still got our install 3.1 disk in there but we should see in a moment two drives pop up there we go and we can just select those go to icon format disk I'm not going to put a trash can in that one because that's going to be my system one. System, quick format. And then wait for that to finish. There we go. DH1. I'm going to leave a trash can in that one and I'm going to call it work. There we go. Quick format. So there we go and then what we can do is then carry on with installing workbench 3.1 which I'm presuming that you are used to um, if not follow along and then when I need to change disk I just do F12 uh, tap on there select the disk I need and then it carries on Now I'm just going to remove all the disks and I'm just going to 
remove and reboot. And there we go, we're now booted into our workbench installation uh, that's using the hard drive. So there we go, we've got our system partition and we've got our work partition with loads of space on there. Obviously you can expand this and use things like better workbench and install a whole range of, of tools like um, WHD load for all your games and things like that. So once you've got everything set up and you're happy, what we can do is we can quit out of the emulator because basically we're done with this now. And if I then go to my documents, FSUAE, and then hard drives, there's my example HDF that's got basically that hard drive that we've just set up. But it's it's a file. We need to physically put this onto a card. Now I have here a compact flash card, and I'm just going to set that into my machine now. So there you go, CF card. I use this sometimes to actually plug into my Amiga. And what we can do is we can transfer this file onto the CF card. Now we don't just simply copy the file over, it doesn't work that way. What we need is another tool. And the tool that I've chosen is the Raspberry Pi Imager. Now don't worry if you're thinking, hang on, I haven't got a Raspberry Pi, um, why, why do I need this tool? Um, I've chosen this tool because mainly because there's a Windows version, there's a Mac version, there's a Linux version, and they're all pretty much the same. So what I'm showing you covers pretty much any operating system that FSUAE runs on, basically. What we need to do is choose our file. So we go to choose OS, and right down the bottom, you've got use custom. I browse to my FSUAE folder, and then I make sure to go into the hard drives folder, under images, make sure you select all files, and then you should see your example HDF. So select that, click open, then click on choose storage, and then I've put in a 16 gig um, CF card. Now you can put in any size card really, as long as it's uh, more than four gig. Now, if you made a hard drive that's only one gig big, then you could use a card that's one gig or larger, okay? So um, once you've got your storage selected and you, you're sure you're, that you've got the right one selected, just click on write and then it writes that image to your card. Once that's all complete, just take the card out, put it into your real Amiga and there you go. Simple as that. Well, if you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you wish to see more. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.